Hello, people of the internet. Oh, look, look, I have pens. Now, I bought these, I bought these a long time ago. Um, I bought them on Prime Day, yeah, so not that long ago, and I have been dying to swatch them since I bought them, and I just haven't had time. And then I also bought these after Prime Day when they went down to a very good price. And um, the colours of these pens are exactly the same as the colours of these pens. These are just a 0.3mm pens, and these are the 1mm more felt tip type pens, so fine liners and felt, hip, felt tips. So I am going to swatch them. I have done a swatch sheet, obviously, um, and uh, there are 60 colours of the fine liners, and there are only 47 colours of the felt tip pens, the one millimetre felt tip pen. So where there isn't a colour for the felt tip pen, I, I've blocked it out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, whew, just checking that I got it right. So put your swatching clothes on. <laughs> Let's have a swatch. If you can hear a noise in the background, my husband is cutting the grass. Hallelujah, it's been so long. It's like a jungle out there. Uh, we'll have a quick look at these. First of all, so actual look at them. So they come in this cardboard box with a plastic window. And they're nicely stadium seated up. So they, uh, they look lovely in the box. And they're actually packed quite environmentally friendly in these cardboard, uh, I would say tubes, but they're not tubes, they're just like loops of cardboard, so you can see, like that, see? But obviously, because they're different sizes, they stagger like that. I think that's quite environmentally friendly and very pretty presentable. You can see all the nice pastels there, look at that. Ooh, and the neons here at the front, ooh. But yeah, I'm gonna actually take them all out of here and put them in a pen case or pencil case that I bought specially for them and I've been waiting to do this. And then we'll have a quick look at these as well, which come in this beautiful tin, which in some ways I don't like it when things come in a tin. You don't wanna get rid of the tin. <laughs> but I do, what I do want to do is in the pen case, I want to put the two colours that are the same together. So they'll be next to each other in the pen case. Oh, look, look, they're both the same size. I thought they was fatter. So, oh, I just noticed. They have, the fine liners have grey bodies with a cap and the, these ones have the colour of the body all with a blue cap. <laughs> I've only just noticed that. You kind of want that cap to live on there, don't you? But look, look at that. Well, their their colour matching is nice, isn't it? But I want the two pens to live together in the pencil case. I find swatching very um, relaxing. I like swatching, so I'm looking forward to this. So I'm not looking forward to play Hunt the Number, because it is supposedly quite difficult to find the number on these. Okay, so I've got my drink and I am ready to swatch. So let's zoom you in. Oh, I do like a good swatch. Let's just have a look. Look at the pens first of all. I'm assuming they're going to be in some kind of order. You've probably seen them before and you probably know that at the end here, this is going to be impossible to focus. There is a number and this one says 013. There it is. So you can see that says 013. So they're just embossed into the bottom of the plastic of the pen. And that's the same on both pens. And there is a colour chart on their website. 013. Okay, so this one's vanilla. I'll put them on there for a minute. Okay, as usual, I have a wad of paper um, for a little bit of squidge and here we go so number zero one zero is light yellow double oh one yellow one one oh bright yellow although on some color charts this was called 
sun yellow and I quite like that word name better. Yeah. There we've got peach. Then salmon. Light orange. Orange. Scarlet red. Which is actually more like an orangey red. Then red. Nice true red. Kalahari orange. Which is a Sort of rusty bark dark red. I've actually put these in this colour order. This is sort of my choice of colour order. Uh, next is Bordeaux red. Now these three are actually quite similar. Mahogany. Slightly darker. And this last one, carmine. And then on to the pinks. So we have 26 antique pink. It is a really light pink, like dusky antique furniture. 21 light rose. Probably a true pink. Then we have magenta. And then number 61, violet. <laughs> I don't like saying the number because it feels like I'm, uh, sorry, red violet. It feels like I'm calling out the bingo. Number six, Kelly's eye. Or number six, violet. And we have 62 lavender. Sixty-eight lilac. Two hundred and sixty mauve. Now I feel like I'm playing darts. One hundred and eighty. 160. 69. Dark mauve. Very dark. Okay. On to the blues. Indigo blue. And this blue is really dark. It actually looks very black. Even the lid looks really dark grey, black. Okay, and then we've got number three, blue. Number 37, ultramarine blue. They're quite similar, those two. Then we have number 30, pale blue. Really got a baby blue. Number thirty-two, azure blue. Quite similar those two. Maybe a little bit different. Number thirty-four, aqua blue. Number sixty-three, delf blue. Last one on this page, number 59, opal green. That's a lovely colour, that, like petrol blue. 
Okay, on to the second page. The old swatching thing is taking a beating. And 54 turquoise. Lovely colour. 550 pale green. Sap green number five green thirty eight sea green. One willow green, fifty three lime green, thirteen mustard. Now, this one could have gone with the yellows, but I think it. When you see the next one after it, sorry, that was vanilla. This one's mustard. 14. I think they live better with the olivey greens. Next one is olive green. I did originally swatch them over with the with the yellows, but they really didn't work. Next one is green earth. I hope it is. Yes, it is. Couldn't see the number then. Looks nice. Okay, onto the browns. Sand. It's very similar. Oh, it's a, I was going to say similar to the antique pink, but the antique pink is a little bit lighter. Gold ochre. Again, this was another one that I was thinking about putting with the yellowy oranges, but I think it has got that brown to it. This one is light brown. Next one burnt sienna. Next one chocolate brown. Next is brown. It's a real dark brown, that one. Next is tobacco brown, 77. Which is the darkest of, of them all. Probably would have called it walnut myself. On to the greys. Light grey. Eighty six stone grey. It's probably the, a warmer grey. Eighty five is dark grey, just making sure I've got the right ones every time. That's a cool grey again. Next one is called warm grey, which is more of a blue grey. Next one is just called grey. That it is. It's a nice little range of greys. This one is black. And then we are going to end on my favourites and yours. Yeah, the neons. Okay, 101. Neon yellow. No. Four oh one neon orange number two oh one neon red. Oh, that does not look. There's the orange and there's the red. <laughs> does not look red. 
It's more like a really dark orange. <laughs> Next one is neon pink, which I've never seen a neon red. And it is indeed neon pink. Next is neon green. Very neon. And finally, neon blue. That's quite a nice blue actually. Not so neony. And that, I'm surrounded by pins, is it. That is the full 60 colours of the Tripless Fine Liners. And what I'm going to do, I don't need to. You don't need to watch me swatch um, the felt pens. These are those. Are, these are the ones. <laughs> those are the ones that look like this. So they're the same. So this one with its number 0010 is this one. Just watch this one, and then do the rest off. Oh, these are nice felt pens. I might just do one more. Some nice felt pens. Let's just do this one. This is the zero zero one, is it? You know, yes, it is. Oh, they are nice. They are nice felt pens. <laughs> one more, and then I'll do the rest off camera. One one oh, sun yellow, beautiful. Okay, see you in a minute when it's all done. I for <laughs> oops forgot to come back to you. I ended up swatching the uh, oh I didn't do the neons. Can't believe I didn't do the neons. It's because I don't like neons. Let's do the neons with you. And then I shall show you how I have stored them. So there's the yellow. There's the orange. These are nice pens. These. There's the red, as they call it. There's the pink. There's the blue. And there's the green. Okay. So that is all of them together. So the Tripless Fine Liners and the matching felt tip pens. They look lovely. Now let me just show you where I've stored them all. Oh I've had to take you all the way up there. <laughs> um, so this is what I've stored them all in and the way I've put them in is that I have put at the back here are my Stabilo Fine Liners and uh, they are sort, they're in the, I don't like them back bits so I like to tuck them. Uh, away you know things at the back that I don't use so much and then I've put the fine liner version here and then the felt tip version of the same colors so they they are parallel with each other and that's the same there and then onto this one it goes the browns and then there's the fluorescence there and then the odd fine liners that don't have matching colors now I put this up against the wall thing here so it's like this which means when it's down like this you kind of you can see all the colors because it's kind of fanned out like like that lots of clinking clanking kind of it's like it's like that fanned out so then i can just have it against boof, boof. in case anyone's wondering why do you use them yeah i use them in the fine line mandala books um especially the ones where I want to do like blend in and mix in the two colours together so yeah so let's do all this up I mean it's, it's a quite a chunky old uh, look when you look in how many pens there are look. it is pen utopia hmm. but yeah do that all up bish bash bosh all my fine liners the triplets and the uh, Stabilo, <laughs> ready to go. That is solid. Anyway, thanks for watching me swatch me triplices and uh, take care, everyone. Bye.